Welcome to Time with Mirabel, designed for people of all ages and domains. The show is tailored to inform, educate, support, and inspire young people through its caliber of guests and uprising stars when they share their experiences, challenges, and success stories. Time with Mirabel, moving forward. The show is just starting and I am your host, the Reverend Mrs. Abongta Mirabel Surungwa. On today's edition of the show, we are talking entrepreneurship and we have a seasoned entrepreneur in the house. He is an economic entrepreneur, Mr. Fogwe Rogers. Plus, we have young artists, two of them actually, who are going to be appearing on the program this day. And then we're going to go into our kitchen where we're going to do the happy juice together. And now, ladies and gentlemen, can you put your hands together for Mr. Fogwe Rogers? You are very, very welcome. Thank you very much, Mirabel. It's good to see you. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for inviting sir. me. Thank you. Have a seat, please. Thank you. Wow, you, you look gorgeous. Oh, thank you very much. You can say that again. I like to hear a lot of Are that. Are there many more clothes left in any shop in town at all? <laughs> <laughs> that's, too, that's too serious. Now that's getting really serious. So how have you been? I've been doing good. Okay, so that's fine. So good. You are the director for Cambridge University Press Meet Africa Region. You're director. Correct. Number one. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> You are the Chief Executive Officer for NMI Education. Publishing House. The, a publishing house. Number three. You are also the President of ANELCAM. What is that? Uh, ANELCAM is uh, the National Publishing Association of Textbooks in Cameroon. And I'm President. I've been running the office for one year now. And the other thing you wanted to know about is um, uh, I'm also uh, co founding director of uh, COEP, which is a humanitarian um, institution that operates in the Central African sub-region. And we do rescue intervention in war zones uh, to the vulnerable and provide health services. Uh, outside that, of course, we're talking, uh, I'm your friend, I'm a husband to Delphine. And a father. And a father to Casey and Wina, my two girls. Oh my and uh, the host of The Better You. The Better You is a life coach program, coaching program, um, to motivate people to do beyond yeah. what they're doing, yeah. the, wherever they are. Because I believe that a lot of people are not operating at their full capacity. Exactly. And there's a lot more potential in people than they have discovered. Before we talk a lot about you, I would like you to have some juice. Great, thank so you. So we're going to go <laughs> to my kitchen where we're going to do the happy juice. You know, not, not a lot of TV programs do the ten people like this, so wow. it's just people. Okay. okay, so we are here now. So this is uh, what simple watermelon juice. Yeah. And the chest. Thank you. That's very it's nice. A long life of uh, your program, Time with Mirabel. Thank you very much. And ladies and gentlemen, before mm. we take leave of here, nice. it's nice. Good, good. Oh, thank you. I'm a, I'm, I'm a good juicer. <laughs> before we take <laughs> leave of here, I'd like to remind you that a kitchen without a juicer is not a life. A kitchen without a juicer is not a life. And as we leave here, we have a young man who's come all the way from Boyer to be here with us on time with Mirabel. And he's going to do something really amazing for us. Ladies and gentlemen, can you put your hands together for Pachanko? Stay with me, stay with me. No leave me, no leave me. I love this bit, it's crazy. One job. Under when you were Call me, I go come all in you On the sun, when you are there Call me, I go run all in you Anything, anything for you oh. All I see, all I see is you oh. See them lock out there Say what love no go stay Baby, now them go fail Cause baby, you don't know Say you day my man I guess you never know They are deep I play for you 
Sexy baby, you don't know Say I truly love you I'm not teasing you I could be follow, follow you So baby, stay with me oh. Mommy, stay with me oh. Cause you the boss, my baby yeah. See, there's nothing wrong in trying My cherry coco, I'm back, you know yeah. See, there's nothing wrong in trying yeah. My cherry coco, I'm back, you know yeah. Yeah. Girl, I see fire in your eyes Try, and then I start to realize, so oh. Say, that you are blessing me you know what I'm searching Just to see you Oh no, no. Say you day my man day, my I man. guess you never know Say I deep up play for you See you. baby you don't know Say I truly love you I'm not teasing you I know you follow follow you So baby stay with me oh Mommy stay with me oh Stay with me oh Cause you the boss my baby yeah. There's nothing wrong in trying My cherry coco, I'm back, you know Yeah, see there's nothing wrong in trying yeah. My cherry coco, I'm back, you know See, stay with me, stay with me, oh Yeah, no leave me, oh the girls in the house make some noise please <laughs> that was good i think you are amazing thank you very much what I was that you did? The, the song the, the song uh started to stay with me okay yeah like stay with me i'll follow, yeah. follow stay with you. me don't leave me i'll follow you everywhere oh, you go <laughs> that was nice you have an album in the market no i'm working on my ep a short album yeah. actually so is this the first song? Yeah, no, singer? this is not the first song. Okay. This is my, my latest single. Okay. Yeah. So where can we find you on social media or something? Uh, Panchako, you can get me on Facebook, TZ Panchak. YouTube channel. YouTube channel, TZ Panchak. SoundCloud, Everything. all of that. Yes. Oh, that's TZ Panchak, yeah. <laughs> so where do you want to go from here? Uh, We're planning to, because I came here with my team, so we work together. Okay. We're planning to like take Cameroon music to another level. Oh, you, you've taken it already <laughs> to another level. Thank you very much. Cameroon's got <laughs> talent. <laughs> I, I like to thank you so much. Yeah, it's a you pleasure. Know, I, I called you guys like short notice and the next thing you were on your way to Yaoundé. I want to thank you so much and you're so amazing. I hope to have you some other time on the show. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. You know, it's a platform for us to try to like showcase our talent out there. It's not easy for what you're doing. So we really, really appreciate it. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. You're thank welcome. you. Uh, mm, oh, la la. Thank you and see okay. you. Bye thank bye. You. <laughs> And right now, I'm here with my main guest. My friend, he says he is. Yes, I have a business card. Friend to Mirabel. Oh my God, I need it. <laughs> now, we are, we are talking entrepreneurship. Let, let's find out. A lot of people everywhere in Cameroon, they are talking entrepreneurship. What's that? Uh, it, entrepreneurship. Let's, let's make it easy. Uh, and you are an economic entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur. Okay. Uh, I'm an economic side. I'm also a social, social entrepreneur. Social entrepreneur, okay. An entrepreneur, it comes from the French word entreprendre. Okay. So to make it easy, like undertake. Oh, an undertaker yeah, kind of. Yeah, who, okay. someone who undertakes to do something. Okay. And uh, 
to do something generally will be the, the creative people they innovate mm -hmm. they dare things um, they're very bold yeah uh, taking risks okay and business uh, risks business risks if uh, you were a, I, a I guess, social or an economic entrepreneur no, even social entrepreneurship, because it, okay. it, it's, it's a huge risk to take um, to try to change um, um, the community in which you live. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you're misunderstood. Yeah, okay. uh, so you need to be bold to do what people are not sure about what you're doing. I'll give you an example. Okay. When uh, we began a Gospel Musical Awards, a Dream Foundation, I was on, uh, on a TV to negotiate for broadcasts. Okay. And it took a long time because people could not people I was talking to couldn't believe that someone would just be doing this for nothing. <laughs> so they were like, they were like, who is behind this? I said, it's me. What, are what you do you hope to gain? Yeah, what are you making out of it? I said, mm. well, I want to promote talents of youths and uh, I see them singing and doing praise and worship in churches and after that they can't put, they can't have bread on the table. Oh my God. So I want to promote the talents of the youths mm. and see how they can, you know, they can get into transforming their talent or selling their talents to make some living. Yeah, kind of. So I'm like, is that all? Who is financing this? I say, well, I'm doing what I want to do. So you see, it, it need, you need courage to do things like that. Exactly. When nobody is believing that you can just do it, uh, it's too free and too good to be true. Yeah. Uh, you know, so be, be it social entrepreneurship or um, economic entrepreneurship, you need courage to it's, do that. Exactly. So an entrepreneur is someone who undertakes to do things and generally they, mm. they break ground, so they do new things. Yeah, and we're, we find ourselves in a situation wherein everyone wants to, every young man and woman in this country, they want to get into the government. Yeah. Every day they are writing concours and concours and concours. That's so perhaps thing. they should want to be more of entrepreneurs than just being uh, government workers. I mean, uh, the, the first thing people need to know is that the government can never be able to employ too many people okay. and it's hard for government to be the biggest employer okay. and governments too should also understand because lots of governments in Africa mm -hmm. try to, be, to, to show that they care by trying to recruit people. recruit people but what they need to be doing is creating a conducive atmosphere for entrepreneurship yeah. and so you've got, you, when they do that the, the context is uh, favorable and conducive for people to create businesses. Exactly. When they create businesses, they can now employ, create employment. Yes. So it's not for government to create employment exactly. by creating concours and competitive uh, exams into mm -hmm. schools and trying to absorb people mm -hmm. into government. Governments cannot be too big. When yeah, they are exactly. big, they are costly and mm -hmm. they don't generate income yeah. and the country doesn't prosper. So in all, all these things you are, we, we went through about six things. cuts. So how, about how many people are working for you? How, how many jobs have you created in Cameroon? I've created direct and indirect jobs quite yeah, a lot. Okay. Um, uh, on direct jobs, in all my operations put together, I've got about um, uh, a little over 200 people. Wow. This, this direct or indirect? Direct. This one is direct. People, people working on any of the projects that I've created. Oh, my about God. 200 people. Oh, 200. Yeah. And, and I imagine yeah. that if, just, if every Cameroonian were to create jobs for for themselves and five other people, yes. 200, that's a lot. Can we give him a hand, please? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Entrepreneurship uh, is, is the best thing a government can encourage because it has a multiplying, a rippling effect yeah. on improving the lives of a nation. Yeah, we did not also talk about the fact that you preach the gospel. Can you, you want to say something about that? To me, it's normal because I expect everybody to be preaching the gospel. Okay. So, um, talking about God to me is uh, is a lifestyle. Oh, okay, that's and, fine. And, and your wife is a pastor. She is. Oh, okay. So okay. we are two fire mates. <laughs> that's that's a nice one. Yeah. Now we get to the point where we, 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 we take a question from the audience. Okay. So we're going to ask any member of the audience to ask you a question and you answer like swiftly. Please, is there anyone in the... Yeah, I see a young lady coming up. Please, can you put your hands together for her? So we've been listening to you talk and you're really a great person, I must say. And, oh, thank you. Know, you. I'm trying to be great. Okay. <laughs> Being the future generation, we have just one question for you is, what's your secret? Well, my first advice before answering your question is that you, you've got to learn to serve. And that's why I strongly believe that in this country, in Cameroon, there's got to be youth service okay. as it happens in Nigeria. Okay. When you finish school in Nigeria, you have one year to learn how to serve a nation. So now, what is my secret? My secret is wanting to be meaningful in life. Okay. A desire to contribute something meaningful to my community. 
Okay. If you want to have a meaning in life, it's not about money. It's about what is it that you're working at that blesses, let me use the word, mm -hmm. or that impacts positively your community. There is a lot of waste of time okay. among the youths. We are generally tell them we have 24 hours in a day. You can't be like every ordinary person that is, work, that is working eight hours a day and you want to make a difference in life. How do you spend your time? Sometimes youths don't have jobs. They are not even willing to go and look for a place where they can volunteer. I'm telling you. They just hang there and they say they're looking for jobs. They're looking for jobs. And you spend 24 hours doing nothing. And you start your, your chit-chatting with your friends, getting involved in so just So they make use of their time. Make use of your time. Exactly. How do I organize myself? Okay. You, 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 you have to build skills around you. You know, be able to find people and build skills around them around I, I you so they, would, they can, you can assign to, them to bring you back here to, for something to, else to, not for something else to finish this topic okay good okay so where do i find you on friday night um why do you choose friday night why not, why not monday night or something oh thank god it's friday oh um friday night when i leave office by the seven or eight then you're tired you go to bed saturday is adam in bed on saturday saturday um sometimes i just stay in bed all day and watch tv and zap that's been too serious. Now I'd like you to listen to something gospel. Yes, yeah, so I invited Precious Pipers. Put your hands together for Precious Pipers. Every breath that I take, every step that I take, every thought that comes to my mind, I know God is.
You are so welcome. Thank you. Now we hear a lot about Precious Pipers. We hear a lot of you everywhere on TV, wow. on radio. How did it start? <laughs> it all began when we were kids, we were children, 10 and 9 years. You both? Yeah. Oh my God. That's we are nice. sisters. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> From the same home and it just grew in us. Okay. And we just started singing special number in church today, tomorrow. And wow. I think Thank you 2012, very much. we decided to come up with something. How many albums in the market? One. Just one, Just and one. you're doing so well. I remember the last time we met at the Hilton Hotel in Yaoundé. You were yes. so amazing. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Can thank we put you. our hands together for them? Thank you. I want to be on the hot seat now. Great. Question number one. I've got two questions for no. you. No. Just one? Just one. How and why did you find me? That's You You just put all of them now in one. You, it's one how and why? It's one sentence. I wanted someone who actually is impacting lives. And I got all in you. Because you're all those things we have discussed about. Okay. Yeah, like now I, I, I'm, taking, I'm taking my mic back from you. Okay. I forgot to ask your age because that's something. The, the first time we met, like, okay, I was going to go to sleep. Just share with us. What's, well, how old are you, please? I should be in my mid-40s now. Mid-40s? Mm -hmm. that's, that's too young for you. That's, that's, too, young, that's right? too young for you. That's too young for you. Can we clap for him? <laughs> We're finding an all-in-one mid-40 guy. Am I, am I permitted to call you a guy? Uh, guy, boy, um, uh, I uh, pick man. guy. I think he's, he's, he's sexier. Okay. Yeah, I, I pick guy. Mid-40 so, guy. Yes. Guy. I'm guy. <laughs> Great. So we, I, think, I think I'm very proud of people like you because you, you make Cameroon very proud. You make us very proud and I'm sure that the young people sitting here have learned a lot. Most young people are, are both 30, 40 and are not yet doing something. So if you hear someone talking like this in his mid-40s with all their accomplishments is hard, then you want to tell yourself that you've been sleeping. So we like to thank you very much, very much for coming. I'm grateful. And now, like I said, you are so serious. You don't have the time to dance. You drink just water or natural juice. And I think Cameroonians are too serious. Okay. That's why we have the dance lot. Right. So we're going to dance to Mape. Mape? Yeah, Mape. I, I'm sure you're going to like him. So can okay. we go DJ? Show your style, baby, cha cha. Oh, yeah, come to the center and do ya do. Show me, baby, cha cha. Make you know they should not for bang it too. Show me, baby, cha cha. Christians all around the world. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! You did not tell me this. I didn't see this coming. Now you see. Oh, I didn't see I'm this coming. I'm also to see the score. Yeah, I think we should get it right from here. Can no, no, we have no, no. a beautiful lady? No, 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 no. Wow. Oh my God! Wow. You don't. You might not even need to see it because we 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 would like for you to leave your very expensive signature. Okay. Your entrepreneurial signature here Great. on this pumpkin, the African pumpkin. And a lucky winner of our online quiz would be able to take this at the end of the season. If you just follow our quizzes on www.timewithmirabelleshow.org, you'll be able to win this color badge at the end of the show. Oh, the space on this color badge is gone. Wow, that's beautiful. Did you see that? Executive signature. <laughs> We want to thank you very much and in Africa you don't visit someone and you go empty handed. Uh -oh. Reason why I invite a very beautiful lady to come up with a gift, oh. the time with Mirabel gift Great. for you. Wow, well, it looks thank beautiful. You. Wow, we intend that you remember that you were here with us. I don't have a, a signature as expensive as yours but yeah. it tells you of me, it reminds you of the show and all of that. So we like to thank you for coming, for being part of the show. And may you take our love back to your family. Thank you very much. I uh, can I put a in here? 
anything you want to do with it, just do it, just do it. And you greet my pastor, Kalik, yes. in your house. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for having been a part of us on this very special show on which we talked on entrepreneurship in Cameroon. We'd like to say thank you once more to the Ministry of Arts and Culture and to the authorities of the Cameroon Cultural Center who allowed us to come here for this show. And of course, a big thank you to Somatel Hotel BMRC. And if you like any of my clothes, you can just join me on www.timewithmirabelshow.org so that we can be able to get one flying over to you. Meantime, before we take leave of you, here is our watchword. Trust because you are willing to accept risk, not because it's safe or certain. Trust because you are willing to accept risks, not because it's safe or certain. And it's a bye-bye from me now, ladies and gentlemen.